Warning this game is not suitable for those who are easily disturbed or if you have a chronic fear of anime girls. Also we got incredibly drunk while recording this. Viewer discretion advised. Okay everyone, I don't know what's been happening in the last 10 minutes, but we're all done reading each other's poems, right? I don't know what's wrong with Riley, but I have something extra planned. I have something extra planned today, so if everyone would come and sit around the room, right now. <coughs> Jeez. <laughs> First of all... No! Well, sort of. Oh, so we really have to do something for the festivals. Not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We're just a little bit bursting ourselves instead of getting any new members. Well, that, that's a concern of mine as well. I don't really know what to do with the last minute preparations. Don't worry, don't mind! We're going to keep it simple, okay? We don't need... Uh, much more than a few decorations. Smile. Sayori has been working on posters, and I designed some pamphlets we can get out during the event. Okay, this is great now. And? But that doesn't... <laughs> but that doesn't tell us what we're actually gonna be doing for the event. The fuck you say to me, bitch? I thought you heard about it already. Performing? Uh, 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 yeah, we're gonna have a poetry performance. Each one of us is gonna choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we've also got to let anyone else coming up and recite poems too. So he's putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Who? Okay, guys, guys, I'm having a mental breakdown. Who is this? Who? Who the fuck <laughs> is this game made for? Like, just do it. Buddy. Like what the, <laughs> what the fuck? I don't get it. Like this, this is like these fucking cardboard cutout anime girls who just walk around all day and are in some sort it's of like smoky fun. ass weed class. All right, let me let me give you a heads up, Riley. Okay, right, it gets far more interesting after Act One, and we're so close. We're uh, very close. This is like we're one very one close day. to act, we're getting Act One done, and okay. then shit gets interesting. Okay. I just gotta say, my brain is going wild. I feel you, buddy. I feel you, okay? <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Everyone everyone who's done this game knows that we're on the cusp right now. Yeah. It's right. cusp. Very I don't right. even we're know what the... Cusp the... Right now. There's like one more day, and then we've done it. Okay, okay. This is still killing me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're drinking, isn't it? <laughs> oh, gosh. Guys, okay, how about this? How about this? How about this? We, we, this, is, this is the bonus. This is, sorry, this is just the bonus break. zone. The bonus zone or the, the, the pause zone or whatever. My man, I want to cheers, okay? Every time somebody says the word cheers, one, two, three, you got to take a drink, okay? That's the new I rule. Have... Every I time. I get more alcohol then because I, 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 I've been taking a break to drink water. No, you, you need you alcohol. Alcohol is going to help, by the if way. If you don't have alcohol, you don't have nothing. Then give me a moment. Get over I'm here, done. you fucking bug, 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 buggy. I'll be back in one moment, Michael, entertain him. Don't press any buttons, for the love of God. Oh my goodness, I, I just deleted I the really recording. Well, well it's still recording. Drinking for you specifically is going to be good for this. What if I ate alcohol bread? No. Bread, but made from alcohol. I don't care. What if I alcoholed all over bread? I uh, no. What if I I'm get... bred with alcohol? Then you're gross. All right. All right. <laughs> this man's talking about breeding with alcohol, and I don't know what the fuck he's talking I about. I don't anymore. know what's happening. I went to grab alcohol from the fridge. I could tell. This man's anyway, breeding with alcohol guess... in the oral sense. I guess anyway, we're so close. You hear, you hear that, Riley? It's me, Monica. You hear that? We're nearly towards Act 1. Uh, anyway... Act one. Sayori is putting it all on posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. And by the way, this game was made for you specifically, Reckless Riley. It's true, it really was. You've always wanted your own anime girl, says me, Monica. Mmm. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't. You didn't already start putting these posters up. To... 
Uh, well, I did. Smile. Did you really think you was that to have an idea? Well, no. But you did, though. It's not a bad idea. You did, though. But I didn't even sign up for this, you know. Yes, you did. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. You you, you will. The plot says so. Uh, I agree with Natsuki. Shut up, you. The plot demands it. Uh, I could never in my life do something like that. <laughs> Imagine it. Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys. No, Sayori. I understand where you're coming from. Remember that Nasuki and Yuri have never shared their poem with anyone until just a couple days ago, whenever this weird guy walked in with multiple personalities. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems from a whole bunch of people that don't exist because we're in a global pandemic. This uh, was made way before that, though. Shut up! I guess I kind of overlooked that, huh? So, I'm sorry. Uh, but, I do think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event, each put on a good performance. I'm dying. Morty. I turn they myself will in. inspire us to do the same. The more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah. It's about being intimate with yourself. That's wrong. Finding new horizons and having fun. But that's wrong. That's You're bad. Like a bad thing. <laughs> that's right. You are bad. If those reasons we're all <laughs> we're all in this club today. And those are the reasons we're in the club because you're bad. <laughs> you're bad. Ahem. Narrator. It is me, Monica. Don't you want to share that with others? Smile. You inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. I know you do. I know we all do. And if it all takes place standing in front of a room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. <laughs> what was that? What was that? <laughs> He's dying. Apparently. <laughs> More alcohol is probably not a good idea, but I don't sugar. care. Ugh. Yummy. Do we want another oh. situation? Oh. 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 Not sucky and yar, it remains silent. They looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. <sighs> well, maybe, but... <clears throat> Not scoot- the... Not scoot- it, like, it looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Woo <clears throat> woo. No, it's not right. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright. Hey, Nazuki. <laughs> what about you, Yuri? Jesus Christ. Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expected faces. Uh. Oh. Uh. I guess I already have a choice. <laughs> and that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. That's all, folks. <laughs> this club is seriously gonna be the death of me. Smile. Oh gosh. Be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to do a poem of your own. We're going to practice beside them in front of each other right now. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> it's a son. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers, dumbass? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off help to help everyone feel a little bit more comfortable. Could I go next? No! I mean, of course! <laughs> now, let's see. <laughs> Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title. 
The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind every line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply unnatural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <That was> very... <laughs> wow. I was hoping to set up an example. Man, what a story, Siori. Are you ready to go next? Uh, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and steps up. Keeping her head down, she qu walks quickly over the to the podium. Uh, this poem's called... <coughs> Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. No, I mean, it's called The After Image of the Crimson R. Yuri's voice <laughs> shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just moments ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly speech. putting in so much uh. effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in that structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps in sealed inside her head. Suddenly, she is finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality. Oh, Hope there goes there. gravity. Yeah. Mom's spaghetti. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and glances around her as if she bewildered even herself. My man, that was quite good timing. I would fist bump you if you were We actually were on board for the same joke for once. I love it. I was going to do it, but I figured Michael was going to do it for me. <laughs> Snap yeah. back into reality. Hope there goes... Oh, there goes gravity. I, I mean, uh, uh, I... Mm. It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start plodding. What are you, fucking Darth Sidious? Yes. Yes, I'm the first to start a plod. Yes. The Ninja Club. Everyone <laughs> joins me <laughs> afterward. <laughs> and we give you a really I'm recognition. <laughs> She deserves. It's not that we don't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten as we applaud. Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Switch your personalities. Okay. Go all right, Riley. Please. That that that's all. That's enough, Yuri. You can sit down. Really good. All right. I tried. Thank, thank you for sharing. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay. This is a next sled. Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. No. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori! It's a lot harder than I thought. How do you guys do it so easily? This is bullshit. Uh, try not to think as if you're reciting it to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror. It's your poem, so it'll come off in the best way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. No. Somehow, it feels like she, her soft voice is made as the perfect match. The poem is aimlessly cheers. Wait. The poem ain't isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and sweet, bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. 
Guys Maybe this is what oh. Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes, and we applaud. I got it. Good job, Sayori! Everybody happy? Make everybody. <laughs> I go <also> to do. <laughs> what does that even mean? I hate this. <laughs> you hate this. It came out very nice. He said, "Alright, now sit down." Make everybody happy. I, I know. I know. I know. The atmosphere was very good. It made everybody happy. Now sit down. <laughs> I'm made of wood. Are you okay, retard? No one's gonna get that joke. No one's gonna get that joke. Yeah, you, know, yeah, you like that. Dumb. Yeah, you like that. You fucking retard. <laughs> I don't really. <laughs> no, no. I don't. I'm gonna start doing that voice and I'll fuck. <laughs> I don't. Say so you get over here. I gotta chase the fire. We're fucking descending right now. Let's go. Okay, just go. I got eyes on the inside. All right, go, Monica. I see poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery, like make everybody happy, would work as well. <laughs> we might need a little more voice behind him, like hey, just gay, you crazy. <laughs> just... Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, <laughs> I'm going to have to go with that voice now. I can't do the other one anymore. <laughs> That's well. I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> that voice is going to ruin you more than the other one. Yes, it is. <laughs> then in the next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that tells you a little more. Where you, where your dignity and pride go? <laughs> okay. Natsuki, get over here. I'm done with this. Uh, bitch. Hmm. Don't make, don't make me go before Riley. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. I just want to let Riley lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Bitch. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. I might as well get it over with. Go. But it's not <laughs> like I have much of a selection of what to read. It, Riley, are you I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up in front of the podium. He says out loud to everyone. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. Just imagine them in their eyes. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it despite that. Once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. You didn't say anything. I mean, don't worry about it so much. <laughs> I, I think that's about your abilities and the fact that you didn't say anything at all. And more about the lack and of your confidence in writing. It's something that will improve over time, though. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. All right then. Uh, that just leaves you, um, Natsuki. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. Ah. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem is called. It's called. Why are you looking at me? Because you, you, you're presenting. Mm. You shit. Okay. <laughs> the, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. <gasps> Once she starts reciting the poem, her poor attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. That's who he is, and everyone applauds. <laughs> she has back to her seat. That wasn't bad, was it? Shut the fuck up. 
These are you to say, bitch. But oh. don't make me do that again. Uh, well, you, you, you're gonna have to. You know, you have to do it again in front of a ton of other people that aren't us. In this empty school. I mean, doing it for the other people would be way easier. <clears throat> I can put on whatever face I want for the other people. But when it's just my friends, uh, it's just embarrassing. You're embarrassing! That's a surprise, Natsuki. I would have thought it'd be the other way around for me. Well, it's just how it is, so... Well, I guess, in that case... You don't have much to worry about the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming. I just oh. opened up another cider. Nice! That's my fourth cider. I'm on my fifth, says Monica with a smile. You can say it, Kodak. You can stick your dick in an Xbox One controller hole. Riley, why are you even saying, <laughs> says Monica <laughs> angrily. I mean, it's tiny enough that it fits in the 3.5 millimeter jack. So you oh. can jack off in oh, the controller. Right, right. Keep the smaller girls uncomfortable. Can you? you? Alright. I'll be making panthers, so let me know ahead of time what you're deciding. You should make some pancakes. That's. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll make, I'll make waffles. I'll, I'll settle on waffles, not pancakes. That's ham. <laughs> Okay. Hamburger. Hamburger. <laughs> we should Please continue. Jeez! I should probably find some other poem to rest <laughs> at instead. As he said, bashing his head into the window of the room. That's Basically. fine, you! It doesn't have to be on your own. I'm already presently surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It really makes me happy. Hey, you remember that, you cute anime girl? Yes, sir. Ah, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, but let's write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish playing tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. Uh, I'm... <laughs> All right. I, I stand up. There's stand no way up. I'll be able to find some the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica. You're from but Canada. I'll fit them back you together. <laughs> You're as north as it can get. Hey, if it's for the sake of the club and impressive Monica, yeah, yeah. then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yeah. <laughs> Look at you two always going home together like that. It's kind of a uh, adorable, isn't it? Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of this. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, uh, hey, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Riley. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. You got five. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But they all. But today, Sayori is being a little quicker than usual on the way home. Quitter. Hey, Sayori! Sorry, I was facing out. I know what <laughs> I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's technically say that one day Yuri wanted to go with you. Uh. Huh? Huh? 
Then what do you do? What kind Say of yeah. question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> ah. You walk home with Yuri. You walk which one's Yuri? Yuri? Wait, wait, wait. Which one's Yuri? Yuri, Yuri's the purple hair girl who's very You're tall. Not. Oh, that. honestly, I would buy Sayori before that. Pick Sayori, you fucker. Can I say Pick Sayori? I don't know, it's your, it's your choice! You're the this is your platform. Sayori! You really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Ah! Ah! It's me. But, uh, she's beautiful and smart. Jeez, I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always really like to really... You always you... seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're silly. You think me too much. You deserve it, wanted it. Sayori, I already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, was the point in speculating something that's never gonna happen? Ooh, soft burn. The conversation trails off. It's kind of an awkward, weird thing for Sayori to care so much about. But I want to respect her and keep her happy, too. Land a can, the festival's only a few days away. Who knows what'll happen in that time? Alright, words. Word time. Who do you want? Uh, I want Sayori. You are the worst person, you know that. Why? What? You've chosen a different girl every time. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Be what you saw oh, man! I'm the last one you again. No, really. I just walked in, though. Did you? Where were you practicing piano again? Y yeah. <laughs> you might uh, start this club and uh, I know. Uh, but it's be compassion. Remember the club? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Anyway, I'm super it's happy fun. that you're willing to help us out for the festival. Ah, uh, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Were you complaining about not wanting to do it? Well, no, yeah, I'm not complaining about our important. Oh my god, Riley, stop. <laughs> What was said? Uh, nothing really. Well, you sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? <gasps> Dude, squid. I'm so hungry now. I'm gonna make some hot noodles. Alright. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid, you of all people? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, you mean. What do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name, Monica. Ah. Uh, also, that joke makes no sense. Oh my god! Never mind. <laughs> hey, uh, Mr. Weeder, Riley. Hey, uh, if you need to go make some, go do it now. I'll, I'll be waiting here. Okay. What did you just say? Hey, it's me, Monica, from the video game Doki Doki Ledger. If you need to go make some food right now because you're so hungry, go do it. We'll wait. Actually, though? Yes! Let's go make some food! I really want food. Yes, go make some food!